when your life is excellent both god and men will rejoice with you but can i give you an honest advice you must obtain grace from god to focus on god and your destiny many of us love men so much you would rather fail god and have a good name with men rather fail god do you have the courage to survive the controversy of the prophecy upon your life oh mary how did you get pregnant tell us the truth what happened i'm an innocent young virgin an angel suddenly appears to me and says a ghost is coming i am innocent to the point where joseph said i'm sorry i love you sincerely you know i'm a responsible man but this 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 embarrassment is too much just when he was about to leave her he had a dream and he said no joseph this woman is surviving something and that which is coming out of her is that which carries destiny can i tell you this if you do not obtain grace to respect your vision and your prophecy more than your reputation you must respect the prophecy upon your life more than your reputation the prophecy upon your life will make you do things sometimes that you will look controversial what do you mean by go around the city seven times do you know what it means to watch an adult go around the city seven times to bring down a fence is that how it is done do you know what it means to empty your account and say god said you have a wife and children you know what it means for your relatives to hear that news that god gave an instruction to resign from your job the controversy that comes with the honor of vision and prophecy if anyone ever told you it's a bed of roses to become a champion think again behind these crowns that you so admire is audacity and courage abraham take now your son go to a place i will show you where oh god keep going the fact that you want me to kill my son question when abraham was done killing his son what will he tell the radio station what will he tell the tv ministry what will he tell the authorities over his life that god said you should kill your son does god behave that way i'm describing the journey that some of you are in right now god gave you an assignment to fast two months and while you're fasting someone is already calling you and saying look wisdom is profitable to direct this thing you are doing with your life even you you don't know the name of i'm not talking about foolishness i'm talking about divine direction are we together yes. there are some of you just when people are rushing to move forward god says you remain here and for three years you are in the same position and do you know sometimes god does not give you the complete answer so when men call you you still look stupid give me the correct logical answer the only thing i know is that i had him he said for two years keep supporting pastor and his wife that is it so what about the dreams and the visions you saw i don't know he's not spoken to me do you know the courage to move forward is the courage to withstand the controversy that comes with prophecy vision speak in the end not the beginning Are we blessed i've had the honor and the privilege of talking with extremely great and successful people both in the faith in the business world in politics and unanimously christians and non-christians they will tell you that they had to withstand the courage there are times that as a man of god you may not have money to eat or to do whatever and yet someone comes to you for counseling suddenly wisdom comes you will impart grace you are solving the problem of others and say okay god what about my own and he's silent he's saying just keep moving father this sickness that is plaguing my child can there be a way out and heaven is silent another person comes and boom word of knowledge you are solving their problems 
and you lock the door they said this man you are so powerful and you say lord it's us again and god keeps quiet i reckon that the sufferings romans chapter 8 let me teach you the way of champions oh great ones because these are some of the messages you will not hear again but this is how great men are made you came to this conference to be made mm. there is a way that people rise in this kingdom it is the reason why through the sacrifice of that death when they rise they don't just rise with an anointing there is a throne in heaven that backs them demons are testaments of their rising and the things they go through jesus i know paul i know who are you some of you are crying don't be ashamed i didn't come to make you cry i came to show you the truth if it is glory you want to come out of you can you drink of his cup and be baptized with his baptism there are things you cannot cast away you only obtain grace to pass through did you hear what i said yes sir isaiah 43 and verse 1 and 2 fear not O israel i have redeemed you i have called you by name you are mine verse 2 it says when thou passest through the waters i will be with you i won't take the water away i will be with you when you go through the river it shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire it shall not burn you the making of the great is a very difficult spiritual process you want to birth glory there is a relationship between death and glory we're dealing with fear the fear of the present the fear of the present what gives me the guarantee that as i do ministry now i will succeed what gives me the guarantee that partners will come and hold my hands what gives me the guarantee that with 300,000 naira, if I start this building project, will I not become a mockery to everybody? And heaven is saying, move. The signs follow. They don't go before you. Start moving. The river does not part until you are inside. Are we together? Look at me. Everything that is glorious moves against status quo everything that has prophecy and destiny is usually unusual in its manifestation do you have the courage to endure do you have the courage to not try to defend yourself even while you move god told you you have a bank you have failed and failed and failed and failed and someone says come i will give you a job let's stop punishing your wife and yet you want to sleep and you have the vision of the bank again and god is saying i have spoken it and it will happen go and read about the global brands you see all over the world don't just read their success stories read their failure stories go and read about the men and the women of god that you honor in the body of christ today and see the scars that are on them Testaments of endurance. Time will fail me to talk of Gideon, Jephthah, and Barak. Men who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shot the mouth of lions, but they entered the den of lions. Your Jesus, the grave where death finishes, is also where resurrection starts. Resurrection does not happen outside the grave. You want to experience resurrection power? It only happens to those who are in the grave. The last time I came here to preach, I taught you something about the mystery of the prison. I told you the prison is where both good and bad people meet. The fear of the present. Lastly for tonight and then we'll pray the fear of the future the third fear that you must overcome this is especially true for people who are already bearing fruit can i tell you this please look up most times when you are producing results exceptional results it gets to a point where you start becoming afraid of your results Do you know why because when you rise to the top the fear now 
is to finish and to finish well most times when people pray for great people their prayer is may you finish well now that you have shown us that you can conquer yesterday and you can conquer today our prayer for you is that you finish well can i tell you this the hand that lifted you can keep you even till you finish be careful because sometimes you can hear men and they tell you stories of people who did not finish well they may be right and they may be well-meaning but can i tell you there is a covenant that brought you thus far and that covenant is able to keep god is not only a giver he's a keeper he's a keeper but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded the bible says that he is able to keep that which is committed to him against that day what gives you a guarantee that this great church and your pastor will still be standing 20 30 40 years from now there is the grace that keeps listen to me most successful people are afraid of their future they are not afraid of their past they are not afraid of today but what if this happens what if a pandemic comes and my business goes down can i tell you this it is it is more it is more painful and embarrassing to rise up and go down it's better that you remain down you were once a billionaire you were once on fire you were once a prophet you were once packing up crusades with signs and wonders so most times when people succeed that fear comes will i last what will become of my children what will the newspaper say about me tomorrow ah. the lord is my light and he's the light of my life i will not be afraid the hands that lifted me will uphold me to the end no fear i will not be afraid listen i bring you words of comfort if it is by kingdom principles you rose i want to tell you those principles are potent to keep you to the end that when the fire goes up and down when the vicissitudes of life goes up and down you are still standing in ministry in life even till the end this is the reason why you must be afraid of your result if they were not built by the word because it is only the word that sustains the power to keep things this is where the arrogant of successful people outside of god they tell you we are successful but if it is not by god allow the wind to come allow the rain come it will beat on both the house that is built on a rock and sand but if your life is built on a rock you need not be afraid listen to me this is my conviction as a man of god this must be your conviction sincere people will meet you and say i pray that god keeps you all. this is how so 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 person started but unfortunately this is how so 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 person started this is how so 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 bank started this is how so 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 started when they say those things appreciate them with truth but turn back and have confidence about the future because you leave jesus i leave i have no fear of what tomorrow brings because you leave jesus i leave today i live to praise your name i live to praise your name i have no fear of what tomorrow brings jeremiah 29 verse 11 please rise up on your feet we're about from here for i know the thoughts that I think over what a life, over Reverend Godwin and his wife, over the membership of this church. I'm not confused about what I'm thinking about them. The pandemic, yes, sir. The economy of nations, yes, sir. I still know the thoughts that I think. 
he calls them thoughts of peace and not of evil there are people who think evil of others they laugh with you but they are hoping something bad happens as a negative prophecy God is not one of them thoughts of peace are not of evil to give you an hold on he didn't say to give you an end the end is not guesswork the end is expected I have programmed it already I am Alpha Omega can I tell you this believers hear me many of you who are under the mentorship of this great man and his wife do not be afraid of what you are becoming you are being built on the word and you may not look like it but find strength there is a making when a woman is cooking sometimes all you see is water and you don't really know what is is it yam is it rice just be patient as that fire under is working on that pot suddenly an aroma that begins to attract you from the parlor what in the world is going on in this kitchen everybody say making oh the maker is making you salt is not the only thing that will be added there there are ingredients that you add only towards the end women am i correct one ingredient in five minutes can change the narrative of that soup